Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Sean. I'm a full-time clothing eBay reseller. I'm a YouTuber and yes, this is my buy sell trade store. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about decluttering your own closet. If you're at your house, you want to sell on eBay, start there. I decided to go through my personal closet and I want to share with you guys what I'm going to sell out of there because guess what? I wear a lot of t-shirts if you guys didn't notice. First up, I own this shirt for one day. This was the vintage Big E Levi denim jacket. This is the type 3 jacket. I did some research on it. It is a size medium. It fits me really well, but in the end, I cannot envision myself wearing this out, so I'm gonna have to give it up. I'm gonna list it at $300 on like local pickup. If I do on eBay, I'll probably go $400 and just lower it down as I go, but yeah. Great jacket here. This was from my last video that I put out. A gentleman came and brought all these Hawaiian shirts, mainly Tommy Bahama 100% silk. He brought a couple of Levi denim jackets. This is the Big E, that one over there is the lowercase e, but still from either the late 60s, early 70s on that one. Next up, we've got this Under Armour. This was in my uh, outdoor running days of wanting to like get in shape, but I'm just not a runner anymore. Just a basic hoodie right here. I've got this cool pullover. Now this cool pullover was a size large and I'm actually a size medium, so it's kind of oversized and it's brown, but I did wear this for a good season or two, but I'm ready to move on from it. We got some white, uh, Adidas climbing cool like soccer pants. These are the joggers and I don't like them because they're white You guys can probably guess what happens when you wear white not for me. We got some Oakley board shorts I always thought these were really neat, but uh, I got them a little discolored just from being at the lake because the water's brown I'm gonna go ahead and sell them. They might not sell for much money, but they're not gonna be in my closet I counted like seven pairs of swim trunks in my drawer and I do not wear them I don't even go to pools that much Right here, we got this Viore. Now, I know people say Viore has the Vero problem whenever you go to sell it on eBay. This is a size small, so if anybody watching this video wants to buy this, uh, let me know. You can just DM me on Instagram or drop a thing in the comments and let me know. Uh, these are a really great color, I think. It's not quite like a blue, um, but it's, it's kind of tealish, but dark blue. I don't know, it's a beautiful color, and Viore, if you guys have never felt it, these are just really high quality. I'll probably list them on eBay anyway, even though there's the chance of the Vero, just because a lot of people list them used, and I think maybe it's more of the new tag stuff that they're worried about. Sticking with Viore, this is a kind of like a wine color. This is a size medium. My wife said if this was a darker red that I should keep it, but because it's this color, she said go ahead and pass on it. And I have one more Viore. This is a size medium as well. Actually, there is no size, but I believe it's a medium. And it's kind of that orangey brown color, so definitely not my style. I should show you the Viore ones that I did keep. They're this floral print. It's really cool. We got another pair of, I told you, I had a lot of board shorts and swim trunks. This is Patagonia. It's a nice floral one. It's a size 32. The reason I decided to sell this one is because the Viore one is also a bluish color with better floral print than this Patagonia. But all these are like really good sellers on eBay with the exception of some of the athletic where I showed you. I didn't really want to sell this one, but it's a size large and it's honestly too big for me, but this is a Peter Millar and it's got this uh, seashell with a skull on the other side of it. I thought it was super unique and I've sold another one similar to this for like 40 bucks, so it should be a pretty easy seller. We got the Under Armour, this is the cold gear. The reason I decided to keep this mock neck one was because I envisioned my son playing baseball and football and me being on the sidelines or at practice wearing like the Under Armours because that's what the kids wear but I don't even see myself doing that. So we're gonna sell it. Going along with the Under Armour, I have these leggings. These are the type of items that I wish I had as an athlete, like growing up in high school. I had a few Under Armour things, but I was never like fortunate enough to have all the Under Armour stuff. And now, I mean, I buy and sell clothes, so I constantly come across good stuff like this. But when my son gets older, I'll go hunt for the stuff for him. Right now, I could just use the money because I mean, it's just sitting in my closet, not making any money. These are actually really cool, and I thought about keeping these for a long time. These are the Duluth Trading Co., but if you guys ever see the ones with the front cargo type pockets, and this actually has a double pocket here and the elastic waist, it has so much going for it. I think these are like $50 shorts. Uh, they are my size, but I wear a tool belt whenever I'm doing uh, 
work. So like those are kind of better if you put the tools or like nails or screws in the pockets, but I really don't like that. And honestly, it's just too many pockets and it, it feels too heavy for a pair of shorts. Here's another, here's another pair of board shorts. This is the Volcom. This is just cool because it's camo and it's awesome. It actually matches my hat quite a bit right now. This is Volcom Mod Tech, Mod Tech, whatever you want to call it, but it's the color scheme that's going to sell it and somebody's going to pick that up for sure. Nike Pro Combat. This is the one that's got like some stuff on the back. It's not quite padding. It's almost like somewhat breathable. I'm not really even sure. I just don't think I'm cool enough to wear something like this, but all white, no stains. It's going to be a good seller. This Oakley one, it's just a quarter zip. I'm a sucker when it comes to athletic gear, like quarter zips, things like that, but I have so many at the house, it's time to move on from these. This one I thought was pretty cool. It's a Nike Pro Combat. This is kind of like the tighter fitting stuff, but I, <laughs> I'm not in any shape near like fitting into that anymore. So we're just gonna pass on these, like the Nike red one here. It's got a little bit of problems, but you know, I could probably get 12 to 15 shipped for something like that. Then we got a couple more tops here. now. It was hard to part ways with this. This is the uh, Ralph Lauren Medium. It's the Blue Pony. It's not one of their older lines, kind of like their mid-tier in age, I don't know, like five to 10 year old lines. But we're gonna sell it because I just don't wear a lot of white shirts. And honestly, I got an Eaton Contemporary one that's much slicker than this shirt right here. This one here, I imagine wearing, it's a Polo Ralph Lauren, but this is a men's medium linen, 100% all white. I pictured if we got invited to a beach wedding or something, I would wear this, but you know, it's a long shot. It's been sitting in my closet for too long. Right here, we got the Levi's Men's Medium. I actually picked this up at a garage sale for four bucks. It's a pearl snap my size, but it's just not my style. I just, I don't like wearing this kind of stuff, man. So we're gonna pass from it. Here is the uh, North Face Apex. This is a good one to pick up, y'all. This is the sleeveless vest, and I have a thing about vests that I don't think they provide much for anybody, because if it's cold, you're gonna want sleeves. If it's not cold, you don't need sleeves. So like, what's the best place in the world? I'm not sure. Right here, this is actually one that I've been hunting for for a while. It's the Polo Ralph Lauren Medium Classic Fit. I believe this is chambray. If I'm wrong, please let me know. No one designs in the comments. The problem with it is you kind of got to tuck this shirt in and I don't tuck in a lot of shirts, but this is like a $50 uh, Ralph Lauren just because of the chambray stuff. Then we've got 32 bar blues. This is 100% linen. I wore this for like my uh, Halloween pictures, the fall pictures. Uh, not like Halloween costume, but like fall pictures at the pumpkin patch and stuff, but it's just, it's not for me, you know? Like a linen long sleeve, it just, I don't know. Not for me, I like t-shirts and I like uh, jackets and pullovers. We've got the area, this is the M4 Relax Straight. This is a pair of beige pants. It actually fits really well, but I wear the Tactical 511s because I like the cargo pockets. These are real slick, I got them at a yard sale. I think I paid 10 bucks for these. Paid up for them because I know area it's gonna sell. This one kind of hurts to sell. Now this is the last one. This is the Chicago Bears on the fiberglass. Uh, Owens and Corning fiberglass tag. This is, uh, it's near and dear to my heart. I'll probably price this up pretty high because I don't want to sell it, but this is an XL. It's one of my dad's older jackets and he just doesn't like this style anymore. My friend was interested in, in it and I told him I think 40 bucks, but I'm probably going to price this at 100 or maybe when the season rolls around, I'll hit him up again. I have two of these at the house. I have a new age one that's really nice and I have a vintage starter one that fits a little small because mediums back in like the 80s fit like, you know, kind of almost like a small right now. So got to be careful when you're buying the vintage stuff, but I'm going to move on from this Bears one. But we're, uh, we're looking good this season, so I'm really excited. So you guys let me know, was my closet haul like an excellent haul? I think there's hundreds of dollars. I know there's hundreds of dollars here and I'm excited to get them listed because now my closet is cleaned out and I can just go hunt more stuff. And uh, you know, if I wanna pull it out of my store or pull it out of the sourcing pile, I'm gonna do that. Maybe wear it a couple times, but honestly, I just wear these t-shirts. So I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. I know it's a little different than my normal videos, but if you have any comments, if you want anything here, please comment down below, send me a DM on Instagram and yeah, appreciate to hear from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.